I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good day, good day, Dwart Azevedo. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful day? I'm going well, yeah. It's a bit cold where I'm where I live in Berlin, Germany, but uh, I'm doing okay so far. Well, it's a great pleasure to connect with you, Dwart. We do have that email that is in draft that we can send your way if needed that is filled with Caribbean sunshine. Ah, perfect. Oh. Yes, I would like some of that. <laughs> but Dwart, please do tell us which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time. I believe it is because of my podcast that you discovered my uh, my, my podcast on, uh, on LinkedIn, I believe. Yes, yeah, yeah. so it's podcast. Yeah, tell us about your podcast, Dwart. So my podcast is called Berlino Tech, and it's about ambitious, interesting people that live in Berlin and they're still that they are uh, you know, still chasing their dreams. And this city, Berlin, is a city that attracts a lot of dreamers and ambitious people. And I wanted to talk uh, about that in the podcast and interview those people. Hmm. So, where did the inspiration occur from thinking about doing this and then doing it? Well, um, I wanted to do a podcast. I didn't know about what. Uh, so I wasn't sure about what I wanted to do a podcast on, but um, I always thought that in Berlin you'd have in Berlin you have a lot of interesting people, and there was no podcast talking about that. So I thought, why not? I want and each episode is about a different person, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Hmm. So who did you learn that skill from? The skill of what was necessary to do a podcast? Well, podcasting itself, I started it doing on my, I started doing it on my own without really knowing what I was doing. So it was very, you know, uh, just try giving it a go. Um, in a more literal sense, uh, speaking for and and using my voice for the podcast. I'm a, I'm a, I, my job is tour guiding. So when I work, I have to use my voice a lot, and I think that's where it comes from as well. If you want to talk about it in a more literal sense i would say hmm. that's intriguing so now that you've done it and that you've gotten your feet wet why will you continue uh well it, this is a, a, an ongoing journey a bit like uh, your own with the 12 minute combos i think um my journey is trying to understand uh what is this city made of and what is this uh, city all about and so i really want to continue because i think it's not over and i still have more interesting people to interview and more to learn about uh this city berlin Mm. It's fun, isn't it? The joy you get from uncovering stories that are untold. Absolutely. Yeah, I really enjoy it. I have to confess, I really enjoy it. And uh, the more I do it, the more I discover more about not only, of course, my guests, but also about myself. So I, I quite like it indeed. Hmm. But tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years. Um, being in a rock and roll band, <laughs> I would say. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm also a musician and I play the bass in a rock band here in Berlin and it's been three years since I joined them. So Do you sing and thing. play? I just play. Okay. I, I, I can sing, but I don't sing in this band. I, okay. I just play the bass. Yeah. It's really challenging to play the bass and sing at the same time, isn't it? It is, uh, unless you're Sting. If you're Sting, it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen few so musicians really that can pull that off. True, true. It's it's really hard. I've tried before in the past, but it's not so it's not so easy indeed. No, it's yeah. quite hard. That's why I only play, I think. So yeah. how does it make you feel playing in the band? I quite like it. I've been playing in bands since to, since 2009 and uh, since I've started doing it something I can't really get rid of. Uh, whenever I quit a band, I always have to join one uh, quickly after that because I, I really love playing in a band and that's how I think music truly good music is, is made of uh, when you're in the band and when four different people or five different people get together and make music yeah amazing stuff for Duarte where's the best place for someone to connect with you even to follow what you're doing on the podcast Berlin Tech so it would be uh, I guess the website berlinotech.com so that's like bibliotech in French but berlinotech.com and in all social media, Facebook and Instagram, uh, you can also easily find the podcast. Uh, so yeah, berlinotech.com, that's a good start. Again, berlinotech is spelled B-E-R-L-I-N-O-T-H-E-Q-E. Dort, let's switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Dort, what is your earliest childhood memory? My earliest childhood memory is uh, being in a car with my mom. Um, and we're somewhere in the mountains in the north of Portugal, where I'm from. And um, 
and we were my mom was driving and at, I think I was four or five I was in the back seat and I opened the door during the car ride which I, of course I shouldn't have done and uh, my mom starts panicking and I somehow remain really calm I don't know why and I remember looking outside and seeing the mountains it was quite beautiful and cold uh, people were freaking out a bit in the car, but then they closed the door and it was all good. But wow. that's my <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think this memory is so clear? And how do you see this memory connecting to who you are today? Well, I think it is very clear because of the difference in terms of my attitude and my, my mom's attitude. My mom sort of freaked out, of course, and I was strangely calm. So I would say that's why. And I can't really connect it much to what I am today, also because I was always a very well-behaved kid throughout my teenagehood and all that. So I never really misbehaved so much. So it doesn't really reflect so much what I am today or what I, or what I was after that in my life. Mm. Uh, I'm also not a very adventurous people in that sense. So uh, I would say there's not really a connection, but that's also a, a way of connecting, I guess, as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Sure, yeah, go for it. I love the idea, my friend, that you are the individual that is willing to to venture out to see the things that other people aren't seeing. You're just doing it specifically by bringing the value to Berlin and interesting people that are surrounding Berlin, that are in Berlin. It's just fascinating to me that you're willing to get out of the car, right? To open the door for others to see the, the beauty that they wouldn't have seen because they're in the closed door of the car. All right, that sounds good. That should be my slogan. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Great, yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's really cool. If we fast forward it to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? My favorite song was a song called The Rock Show by Blink-182. Uh, when I was 12 years old, I thought I wanted to be a punk rock kid. And that's what I was trying to be, even though I failed miserably. That was my favorite song. I love uh, it. The Rock Show by Blink-182, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my friend, I mean, just to connect a few dots right there, uh, in the blink of an eye, you opened the door, right? <laughs> we've arrived at our destination but before we get off of this time machine there is a small declaration form so it's yes or no possibly a bit more Dwight we're going to move pretty quickly here are you ready I am ready Dwight have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to no not yet okay. are you married uh, no do you have children no do you believe in God uh, no do you have an inner circle of friends yes in my hometown in Lisbon do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three hours a week? Uh, no, I don't have a TV at home. Wow. What about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? I want to hope that it's less than eight hours a day. I think it is less. Dwight, if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, what would you say that is? I would say choose your own future. Don't let anyone else do it for you. Love it. That's it. Dwart, this has been a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Yeah, listen to Berlin Attack and let me know what you think about it. I'm always uh, welcome to listen to feedback about the podcast and how better it could get. Love it, Dwart, as a veto. Hey, this has been a great pleasure. Quick, snippy, snap, snap. Thank you for being on what is inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute, but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com. <laughs>